Hello there, Multicrafters! Welcome back to a brand new Multicraft video! X-Realm here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys some more Multicraft to build on my tips and tricks for you guys to use whenever you need them. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to join the Multicraft community, and ring the bell to be notified about my latest videos. And let's begin. So in the workbench, there's this little box over here. What does it do? Well, I know, but you may not. Anyways, so if you add items in there, it will split it from your current thing majigger. But if you only have one thing majigger left, it will not split it anymore. You can also split items by selecting one and um uh, splitting your fingers. Just like that. Let me just show you with two little pictures like that. Now you can fill up your inventory very quickly. Wow. It takes a while for sheep to grow back their wool after they have been sheared. But if you feed the sheep, it will grow its wool back instantly. I recommend that you use grass because it's very cheap and it's almost everywhere, by the way. Now you can make an infinite wool generator from only one sheep. That is awesome. And hey, you could also put a hopper underneath the sheep for a faster pickup. Another strategy that I know to get more wools to shear the sheep and then finally just kill it. But it doesn't give you much. You can now legally make falling nodes float in Multicraft using ghost stones. And it looks like it's just floating, but there's actually just ghost stone underneath. So, um, yeah. It's how to make falling nodes float in Multicraft. Sort of. If you don't want a chest to become a large chest when you just place them side by side, well, check this out. First, place a chest on the right and one in the left, then break the one in the right. Then you'll have chests not become large when lined together. Who is gonna use this? Grow a bush beside a large chest. And just remove the bush stem and the whole bush. And when you're done, you'll see a split chest. These are called chest sides. By the way, the part of the chest that you split off won't work. I'm talking about the metadata. You may know the metadata as a slot. Breaking the side chest will only give you a normal chest. You can also use this trick on pistons. Just grow a bush, and what do you know? Hey look, there's a hole that looks like a camera. There's an interesting bug that can duplicate carved blocks from dirt with grass. First, build a tower, and then above the tower, add a carved dirt with grass block. The cutted block that you added above the dirt tower will be the one that will duplicate. So this dirt with grass slope is gonna duplicate. Hey look, it already did! That was quick. I didn't even have to wait a minute. This can work on any of the dirt with grass carved blocks, I think with other nodes too. There's a few things to do with a screwdriver, and some of these are very cool. Very awesome. For an example, if you rotate a bookside table, it's gonna look pretty weird. Same thing goes with the chair. <laughs> Whoa. If you want to find bones, skeletons aren't the only option you got. The other option is to get bones from dirt. Yeah, that's possible. See, I just got a bone from just digging dirt. You can also dig out dirt with grass and that could give you a bone also. Yeet. Let me show you if I get another one. See, I got another one now. This works. 100% real. What is the powerfulest light source in Multicraft? Well, it's the sun, but did you know it could also be a light stone or a lantern? These two are one of the strongest light sources in Multicraft. Compare them with the sun. Hmm. 
Did you know you could also craft hose made out of walls? Well, with the walls, it's amazing. Moss, cobble, sandstone, and red sandstone. You could use any of these, and who knows, maybe you could also craft a pickaxe or an axe or a shovel or something else. They might fix it soon. To pass a fence in Multicraft, all you have to do is stand right near it, then press sneak and jump at the same time. There we go, it works! You can do this also with walls. Nice! This will not work if there are micro slabs under your feet. This does not apply with fences. By the way, this could get fixed soon, so you better make the most of it. Yeah. Remember the strategy for getting sheep to grow wool even faster? Well, um, there's this other strategy for cows to get milk faster. You just feed them, and um, they will like you and have more milk. Some people are still wondering what do turtles eat? They eat Nutella's, guys. You can also tame them, by the way. That is right, turtles love Nutella. If you're an old player in Multicraft, you probably already know what I'm doing right here. A secret underground base door. First, get on the fence, then press jump, then press jump and sneak when you reach the top, and you're out of there. Really secretive door. Cool. Let me show you one more time. You get on the fence, you press jump, you reach the top, then press sneak and jump at the same time and you're out of there. I don't think anybody will suspect that this is a secret door that takes you out because this looks like floor. Like real floor. I don't think they will find out. <laughs> Well, Multicrafters, that was it for today's Multicraft Bill and Mine Tips and Tricks video. I will be uploading some more in the future, so, um, yeah, I'll see you soon. You can also check out the Tips and Tricks playlist, by the way. Okay, Multicrafters, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to join the Multicraft community, and ring the bell to be notified about my latest videos. And until next time, my multi-crafters! Uh -huh.